Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. This time we're going to be playing Let's Play Laura Croft's Angel of Darkness. Another one of my... This is another good game. Even though there's some uh, glitches in this game, but... A lot of people criticize this game for being too glitchy and stuff like that. And let me let me see if I can adjust the brightness. So it's not all washed out. Okay. That's the beginning. There have been 17 reports of murders so far in this latest outbreak of monster killings. It would appear to be the work of a single, highly psychotic perpetrator. The name of the latest victim was just released. Professor Werner von Koy. A female, described as Caucasian, brunette, and wearing a ponytail, was still leaving the most recent crime scene. Officers are advised to use extreme caution when apprehending the suspect. At present, nothing appears to link any of the individuals involved. There are no known survivors of these attacks so far. So as you can see, there's a... We got ourselves a serial killer on the loose. Streets. Yeah, we're in Paris. Somewhere in Paris. 
After all, Paris is like a big city like Chicago. This looks like a safe area. I need to find a way out. To move, to move around. around. Use the left. I don't know what to Yeah, I know that. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this candy bar. Candy bars give you health. And watch out for this dog, because he will... He can drain your life. Even though he's chained up. Okay, okay, Laura, Laura, Laura. Laura, Laura. See what I mean? All of a sudden, Laura starts moving by herself. Just, just like right now. And that kind of glitch. It's like she'll start moving all of a sudden by herself and stuff like that. And it'll be like, come on, god damn it. Well, you can't go through this door because it's locked. As you can see. And watch out for this door. Watch out for this door. There's a glitch in, by this door. I call this the emo door. Because there's a glitch where all of a sudden... Laura starts getting hurt and gets more hurt until the point she has no life and it's game over. So watch out for that door. Whatever you do, do not stand near that door. That door will kill you. In fact, that door will make you go suicide. Yeah, that door uh, will make Laura kill herself by bashing her head in there. Or at least that's what it looks like. I mean, when I witnessed that glitch, my mom was like, did she just bash her head in or something? <laughs> but anyways, avoid that door at all costs. Do not even... Shut up. Do not even tr try to see if it's open or anything like that. That door will kill you. There's a bad glitch right there. Yes, I know that. I know that. To grab the balcony. Yeah. Walk to the edge of the bin and press the jump button. Then push forward. Stick to climb. Yeah, I know that. <gasps> this gap looks easy. To jump it, walk to the edge and stop. Remember, holding the walk button will stop me from falling off. But sometimes that's not the case. Now press the jump button and push forward on the left. And sometimes she'll just walk right off the edge. Holding the walk but but analog stick should prevent her from walking off the edge, but sometimes these glitches will, will be like, yo, I'm gonna just go walk off the edge and just kill myself, because I'm, I am I hate myself. There we go. And you can jump over there and hit, get some med packs. And apparently this door's not open. It's not open. Maybe this door does? Nope. It doesn't. No, 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 no. Laura, Laura, Laura. Laura, Laura. Come on, girl. Jump, jump. Do something, girl. <sighs> Circle the jump. like do a little insane jump like hip hip uh and I think that's L2 to do that. Yeah, L2. <sighs> okay. Come on. Laura. Uh, Fuck me, come on. Get back up there. There we go. Oops. I think there's another alternative of shimmying all the way over there. But I'd rather jump. Stand facing it 
Yes, I know that. On the left, on the next I know that. Neither of these doors work, as you can see. Neither does this one. Bitch. To get off, push left on the left analog stick. Yeah, that's how you enter a window, this window. Just walk up to it. Well, stop. Push forward on the, on the left analog stick and, uh, and she'll go inside. Yeah. When she means by action, go up to... When you see the hand... Uh, thank you, words, for disappearing. When you see that hand... On the uh, lower right corner, that means she wants to, you can access that. You can access that by pressing X. And we got ourselves some money, yes. Even though you can't do anything with the money in this game, it still gives you a good euphoria of like, hey, I got some money. I feel great kind of feel. Also, you can pick up things from the ground. Those are antique dooblooms. You can, you can trade those in and that, by that, by that guy. It looks like I need something to force this open. jump which is the circle button push forward on the le left analog stick and then press X to grab onto the ledge like this oh. yeah this game involves a lot of stunts and crazy shit walk up to the railings stop and push forward and I'll vault over yeah she, she can vault over by stopping and uh, moving left on the left and moving forward on the left analog stick I can hop to the other side. Hold down walk and press jump. That could be tricky because if you do that, you can, she can just walk off the edge and fall to her death. Just easily like that. that that's how. that little, uh, words disappear, okay? Alright. By that little icon right there, right on the right lower, right lower corner, that blue person walking icon, that means you won't be able to fall off. In order to get into that mode, you have to press L1, otherwise you'll fall off. This is very crucial for further missions where you're literally on edge. Literally. Just to walk, climb walk the up to this. Up. Push up and diagonal. Just walk up to it but with the left analog stick. And there's obviously nothing on the Don't left. Keep me hanging around. I need to reach the roof before I lose my grip. In order to let go, press X. Now I've got my strength back. I can shimmy around that corner.
can return to the bottom. Made it. No time to waste. I need to get to Carvier's apartment. Could be something useful in there. I need a way to prise those doors open. I know that. And there's something here. Ah, uh, yes, medical kits. You can get injured in this game. Uh, shut up. Press X. Stop, press X. And she'll pull. And then hold X and she'll. Analog stick There's to the direction you want to go. That'll come in useful. And to hang from the edge of the building, walk to the ledge and press action. Uh, yeah, I know that. Uh, yeah, I know that. Thank you. Jeez. Uh, I need to shimmy to that <sighs> but I don't think I'm strong enough yet. Yeah, a lot of this concept of being strong enough. Doing something like prizing, prying door open, prying doors open, like right here. She'll feel stronger. I feel stronger. Yes, I know that. I think what we got in here is a gun. Yep, a gun. I think you could say, yeah, you could save the game by pressing select button and like saving game from right here. You could look at what, what you picked up. I picked up an M MV9, a basic design 9mm semi-automatic 12, 12 shot clip, long range. But I don't think there's any bullets in it. But I'm assuming the NRA does suck. Damn it, that's not what I want. The NRAs. <gasps> Fuck you, Laura. There we go. I think the NRA does say to assume. Good. I would not recommend that. That, that could get you killed. Probably go back to where you came from. Go back here. Now you can pry you can pry this door open. I think there's a necklace in here. That could be tradable in the market. Shop, right? Yeah, you can jump.
that she's strong enough, she can shimmy all her way to that to that other side. Come on, girl. I need to move quietly. Tap the stealth button, and then use the left analog stick to move me around. The stealth button is our L2. To hug the wall whilst moving in stealth, press the action button when I'm standing next to it. Push right or left to move me. When I reach a corner, I will peer around. So you can hug, you can hug the wall by pressing X while in stealth mode. There's nothing by that window. There's a guy right there. Hope you liked this episode. Be sure to stay tuned, and the next will be Derelict Apartment Block. Peace out, everybody.